Today I'm not at the German Panzer Museum, but the Environment Fall 2020 and I'm legally obliged to mention that since I want to use some footage of the Tiger II in this video. And by the way, the Panzer Museum revived its English channel, so be sure to check it out here. So the question is, did the Germans ever call the Tiger II Königstiger, King Tiger? Since occasionally I get comments about the Königstiger, some people know that the Germans never call it that way. Whereas others ask if it shouldn't be called Bengal Tiger, since the actual animal called Königstiger in German is a Bengal Tiger in English. This will be answered briefly at the end if you make it that far, since we will take a look at the various sources, including some primary sources from the German military archive. So let's start with the search engine of the German Federal Archives, and indeed, if you search for Königstiger, there are only two results, and those are in the collection of movies, but not World War II propaganda movies. So from this test, we know that at least the German Federal Archives did not put Königstiger in any of the document titles or descriptions. Yet maybe those fields are generally rather rare, so I did some searching and for instance the far lesser known tank Löwe, Lion, shows up, namely this entry. Requirements, VK, which is Versuchskraftfahrzeug, experimental vehicle, 7201, Panzerkampfwagen 6, Lion. 78 tons, 10 cm vehicle cannon or 15 cm cannon. In a document with the title Important Data of Individual Tanks. It also has an entry for the Porsche Tiger that reads Panzerkampfwagen 6 VK 4501P Ausführung P. The names Tiger H1, Tiger and Panther 1 also show up. It should be noted that the archives gives as a date range for the documents from March 1942 to July 1943. As such, the Panther 1 is less of a surprise, since the Panther 2 was still not cancelled at least at one point in that time range. Meanwhile, a document from November 1944 writes about the Panther and Tiger 1, which indicates that there was a Tiger 2, and at that point the Panther 2 was cancelled quite a while ago. So there was only one Panther. Let us look how the Tiger II was called in some German regulations. First we have the regulation 656-43, Tiger Variant B, Handbook for the Tank Driver, which is from September 44, which in the intro only calls the vehicle Tiger Ausführung B, so no Tiger II here. Then in the bulleting of the Panzer Arm, there is a mention of a new pamphlet. Pamphlet 47A-25, Pamphlet Firing Instructions and Firing Exercises for the Panzerkampfwagen Tiger with the 8.8 cm KVK 43. Note the Tiger 1 had the KVK 36. And it's dated from the 7th of August 1944. As you can see in this title, there's no reference which Tiger it is. There's no Roman numeral, neither an Ausführung B. Yet the date indicates that this is likely the Tiger 2, but the gun designation makes it certain this must be the Tiger 2. Yet maybe this was a misprint. So I looked in the military archive search engine for this pamphlet. Sadly, there seems to be no entry for Merkblatt 47A-25, only for 47A-27 with a similar name and a different date, namely January 1944. So indeed, this might be a misprint. The next document is the regulation 656-55. Panzerkampfwagen Tiger Variant B Timetable for Lubrication and Maintenance Works. Again, no Tiger 2 here. There is also a D656-44, which only uses the Ausführung B, and for the D56-42 plus, it is the same. The plus indicates uh, secrecy, by the way. Note, there are more regulations, but you get the general idea. Now, for the initiated, this is not particularly surprising. Spielberg, Jens and Doyle usually have a list of around 20 names for one individual armored vehicle that they encountered in various documents. Jens and Doyle note for the Tiger II. 16th March 1943 was the first date that the name Tiger II was officially used in place of Tiger H3. The official designations Panzerkampfwagen Tiger Ausführung B and Panzerbefehlswagen Tiger Ausführung B for the command version originated in Warproof 6. Warproof 6 was the department for tanks and motorization. Order dated 2nd June 1943. The official designation was frequently shortened to Tiger B. The full title is Panzerkampfwagen Tiger 8,8 cm, Sonderkraftfahrzeug 182 Ausführung B 
ein Panzer für Felswagen Tiger, sondern Kraftfahrzeug 267 und 268 Ausführung B, was specified by the inspector der Panzertruppen for use in training and maintenance manuals, as well as in the KSDN, the Kriegsstärke Nachweisungen, Organization and Equipment Tables. In August 1944, the General Inspector der Panzertruppen released a document with the title Designation of Tanks, Assault Guns and Tank Destroyers, which notes Panzer 6 für 8,8 cm Kampfwagenkanone L56 S Tiger 1, Panzer 6 with 8,8 cm Kampfwagenkanone L71 S Tiger 2. So, problem solved? Well, nope, because it was not that straightforward, since I had to look into some other documents as well. Meanwhile, a document by Waffenprüf 6, which was the Department for Tanks and Motorization in the Army Ordnance Office, the Heereswaffenamt, in a document from October 1944 with the highest security classification called the Tiger 1, Tiger E, L56, and the Tiger 2, Tiger B, L71. What is rather interesting is the aspect that the Tiger 2 did not really have an official suggestive name, since other vehicles actually had them. The bulletin for the Panzer Arm from September 1944 notes, In reports and notification, the suggestive names Jagdpant of the weapons are to be used. For requirements on the supply route proposal and reports of technical nature, exact specifications of the technical data, chassis, gun, is required. So there's a specific instruction to use suggestive names. Yet there was none for the Tiger II Ausführung B, or was there? Well, in a way, there was one or none, depending on the point of view. While looking through the war diary of the Wehrmacht High Command, I found at least two entries where there is simply no distinction at all made between the Tiger 1 or 2. At one time, it lists just Tiger, and at another, Panzer 6. In both cases, very likely meaning the Tiger 2, since the Tiger 1 was no longer in production at that point. To quote the two entries, Tank distribution in January 1945. Panzer 4, 142. Panzer 3, 1G, parenthesis 1, 49. Now I discussed this with Chifton. Likely that is a misprint and it should be LG, not 1G, whereas LG would mean long, lang. Uh, we still don't have an idea about um, parenthesis 1. Panther 118, Tiger 23, assault guns. 287, Panzer IV 1G in parentheses V 157. This could be the Jagd Panzer IV, since it was produced by Fomax, so the V might be for that. And likely the 1G again is a misprint, isn't again the short version for Lang. Then Jagd Panzer 38, which most of you know by the name of Hetzer, 235, Jagd Panzer 58, and Jagd Tiger 6. Whereas the next document notes, January 4th, 1945, total loss of tanks at Army Group B, December 16th to 31st, 102 assault guns, 77 Panzer IV, 131 Panzer V, 13 Panzer VI. This is also in line with documents of the Panzertruppen from 1945 that either use Tiger or Panzer VI or a short version. So one could argue that the suggestive name for the Tiger II, Ausführung B, was Tiger. And technically, just using Tiger is not necessarily wrong, according to Dr. Markus Pöllmann. The exception here is Tiger and Königstiger, which formally represent two versions of the Panzer VI, Ausführung E and Ausführung B. In short, it was just Tiger or Panzer VI. But back to the origin of the Königstiger. What was the origin of the name Königstiger? Generally, what is commonly mentioned that the Allies gave it the name and the Germans retranslated it. Likely the source for this is Guderian's memoirs. On 25 October 1943, Hitler was presented at Ari's military training area with the wooden model of the Tiger II, the superb new Tiger model later christened King Tiger by our enemies, the Fomag Tank Hunter, the Jagdpanzer IV, the Jagdpanzer, the iron model of the Jagdtiger with the 12.8 cm gun, the 38cm Panzer Mortar on the Tiger chassis, the Sturmtiger, the Panzer III for a railroad track transport and various light and heavily armored railroad cars were demonstrated. Now, Guderian was a very important Panzer general involved heavily in the creation of the Panzerwaffe and later became General Inspector of the Panzerwaffe. As such, some people get quite mad if you question anything he wrote or said. Although we know now that his memoirs contain a lot of errors, although some might argue since Guderian was there, he should know. 
Fair enough, here, were, here is what another Panzer general, namely Oskar Munzel, wrote in his book about the Panzerwaffe. The later Tiger II, also called the King Tiger from 1943, was similar in design to the Panther. Now one might bring forward that both Guderian and Munzel are correct, yet there is a bit of a problem. In 1943 there was only one Tiger II produced, so it is rather unlikely that the tank was named in 1943 by the Allies. Still, based on all the Ocker documents I looked into for this video, I think Guderian might be correct, at least that would explain why the term Königstiger barely shows up in German documents. It should also be noted that the Soviets thought that the term originated with the Germans, since a German document from February 1945, which is a translation of a Soviet document from 1944, notes The Germans had high hopes for the construction of their new heavy tank, Tiger B or King Tiger, as they named it. The question is, of course, what is the source of the Soviet claim? Could it be an interrogation with German prisoners of war and, as such, be the name used by the troops? According to the documents translated by tank archives, the Soviets already used King Tiger in their documents on the 8th of September 1944, although in that case there is no mention about the origin of the name. Now it is important to note here that the original Soviet report was from 1944, since most other sources, namely Jens, Dole and Zaloga, note that the term first appeared in German documents in 1945. To quote Zaloga, the propaganda name Königstiger, King Tiger, Royal Tiger began to be used in January 1945 though this was never an official Wehrmacht designation. To check this, I searched the German Federal Archives photo library, which in some cases contained the original caption of the photos and indeed I found three distinct captions containing Königstiger. One of them is A marvel of German engineering was created in the new tank type Königstiger, the huge barrel of an anti-aircraft gun which has been tried and tested a thousand times over, looms menacingly out of its mighty heavily armored steel body. Sadly, the date range of the picture is rather wide with 1944-45. Yet there are also two entries with an exact date for 1944, although the 30th December 1944, hence these images likely were not published before 1945. I should add that those photos seem to have no snow on them, so the dating might be incorrect, but I currently don't have time to check another rabbit hole for this video and check the snow situation on the 30th December 1944 on the whole Eastern Front. Anyway, here is one of these captions. War correspondent Blaschka, place Eastern Front, date 30th December 44. King Tigers on the Eastern Front. In a ravine the steel giants masterfully camouflaged and artillery proofed Wait to be deployed in focal points of the fighting. Rice press chamber 3 280. Be aware that there are many more photos there with Königstiger in the captions, yet I could only find four with an original caption that included Königstiger and one was a duplicate. The others have an archive caption, which from my understanding was provided by the archives curators after the war. By the way, the reason why I don't show such photos in videos is due to heavy restrictions of German archive laws that sometimes even outright ban the use on social media besides for publicly released ones, those you see on Wikipedia. The same goes for military aviation history, by the way. Yet we are not done yet. Thankfully, Dr. Roman Töppel noted to me that there is a Wochenschau propaganda reel that also mentions the name Königstiger and it happened in the Wochenschau Number 736 from 12th October 1944, at around 12.32, it notes This is the King Tiger. These weapons are forged non-stop by the productive Germany for the last decisive battle. A link to the reel is in the source section, by the way, although since it is probably the most used footage of the Königstiger, you likely saw it already anyway. Also note that the previously mentioned photos that were dated to 1944-45 were likely taken during the filming of that reel as well. Now there are more entries for 1945 in German documents. While looking for something different, I came across a document that the Ministry of Armament and War Production sent to the Group 3 of the Organization Department of the German Army from March 1945. It is an overview of produced material for February 1945. In line 92 it notes Tiger 1 and in line 93 Königstiger. Now this might seem counterintuitive since the Tiger 1 was not in production anymore, but there are two columns, one for production and one for repair. 
Apparently one Tiger one was repaired in February 1945, while two Königs Tiger were repaired and 42 were produced. This is also in line with what Jens and Doyle note. The suggestive name Königstiger King Tiger was an unofficial designation first used in early January 1945 in a monthly production report from the Speer Ministry, the Ministry for Armament and War Production. This was never an officially accepted designation during the war by either the Panzertruppen or the Waffenamt. So in short, yes, the Germans used the term Königstiger as a propaganda term. The first use that I could find was the 12th October 1944 which means internally it was likely used earlier unless this was a very late addition to the reel. Still, this does not make it an official name by the army or other organizations. Similarly, it was also used by the Ministry of War Production in their documents in 1945. Of course, the question remains, from where did the term Königstiger first originate from? Because that is still not known. Interestingly enough, in the US series Tactical and Technical Trends number 51 from October 1944, the Tiger II is mentioned. It is called Pan Tiger at that point. To quote, a new 67 ton German heavy tank referred to variously as Pan Tiger and Tiger II has been employed against the Allies this summer in France. Actually, a redesigned Tiger Panzerkampfwagen 6, it mounts the 8.8 cm KVK 43 gun. On the basis of a preliminary report, the general appearance of the new tank is that of a scaled up Panzerkampfwagen 5 Panther on the wide Tiger tracks. In the US handbook on German military forces from March 1945, the name King Tiger is mentioned several times. In reference to the Panther, it is noted Its great success in combat undoubtedly gave rise to the decision to redesign the Tiger, which to some extent had fallen short of expectations. The new version is the Königstiger or King Tiger. This is the only passage where Königstiger shows up, yet the way it is written, it indicates as if the name originated from the German, it's not the US troops, considering that the issue of tactical and technical trends from October 1944 does not use King Tiger, yet the German Wochenschau in October 1944 does use it. This might be an indication that US forces were not the creator of the term. Before we summarize, there is one final aspect about the translation of the term Königstiger into English. According to Wikipedia, the animal Königstiger, which is also called Indischer Tiger, Indian Tiger, and Bengal Tiger, Bengal Tiger, in German has the tronomal name Panthera Tigris Tigris, which seems rather redundant, but at least the naming scheme is rather consistent, something I can't say about the Wehrmacht's naming practices. Now the Panthera Tigris Tigris in English is an animal commonly called Bengal Tiger. So some argue Bengal Tiger would be the correct translation. My answer to this is simple, nein, no. Why? Because Königstiger is a suggestive name for a tank which basically indicates that this is a big version of the Tiger tank. And this is expressed by the word King or Royal for the British. And if you look back at German, they also use Bengal and Indian Tiger as well for the same animal. But that does not mean much if you use the name for the vehicle. To translate it with Bengal Tiger would only make sense if you basically everyone would know what the, that a Bengal Tiger is a bigger and meaner Tiger than a regular Tiger. Which was clearly not the case for me before I looked into this and I doubt many other people know need either. Hence I think King Tiger is the most appropriate translation. The claim that the Germans never called the Tiger Ausführung B Königstiger is wrong, although it was never an official name. Additionally, as usual, there was not really a consistency in naming the Tiger II. As such, varying from Tiger Ausführung B, T Tiger II, simply Tiger or Panzer VI in the various documents from 1943 to 1945. Furthermore, the exact origin of the name Königstiger is hard to determine. The German Wochenschau used it in October 1944, yet it seems the Soviets already used it in September 1944. Additionally, a German translation of the Soviet document from 1944, sadly without month or day information, claims that the Germans created the name Königstiger. Meanwhile, US reports used the term Pantiger in October 1944, due to its similarity in looks to the Panther tank. So Guderian's claim that the Allies came up with the name seems unlikely unless, and I haven't looked into this, that the British originated it, likely with Royal Tiger. Although what might be an indicator for Guderian's claim is the fact that the Germans rarely used the name Königstiger in any documents, especially not the Panzerarm. 
This is in contrast to the Hummel, Vespe, Hornisse, Nashorn and others with, uno, with official and unofficial suggestive names used in documents and in some cases were later banned. Note various people helped out during the making of this video. In the end, all errors are my own. Also, this is not a definitive video on the topic. It was actually planned as a short one, but there were a lot of rabbit holes and some I couldn't resist going down. So I hope you're not utterly confused now. I likely will call the Tiger II Königsteer because it's a cool name and not completely wrong like some others. A big thank you here to the Panzer Museum Munster for inviting me. Also a big thank you to Dr. Roman Teppel for pointing me to the Wochenschau. Thank you to Andrew for reviewing the script. Thanks to Chifton for trying to find out what the Panzer 31G parenthesis 1 might have been. Thank you to my Patreon subscribers and supporters for helping me financing trips to the Panzer Museum and German military archives. Thank you for watching and see you next time.